Hi everyone, Combo Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Transformers Energon issue number 11. Now, as you know, Dreamwave is meant to be their take on Transformers Energon that had 12 issues. There was meant to be 18, but because of Dreamwave's bankruptcy, left the series unfinished. And the cover has Megatron ripping down Terracons in his Energon body. We see how, after the last issue, Hotshot saying, uh, Jetfire, I... And they kind of see that it's Megatron te tearing down Terracons, saying, Ten years. And we kind of see how Hotshot's left, left without words, knowing that he can't explain it, but it's Megatron that he's back. And Jetfire says, Hotshot, listen to me. Megatron's dead. You saw him die. It isn't him. Ask yourself, why would Megatron help us? It doesn't make any sense. No sense, but we kind of see how Hoist points out that he died before when he was still smokescreen. And of course, we kind of see how the Terracons try to fall back. And for us seeing that it's Megatron tries to worm his way back into his favor. But we kind of see how Megatron pops up to other areas which attacking other Terracons, and we kind of see how how some of the teams from Jetfires are losing power, and we kind of see how they're using what what packs that they have, like Toadline and Cliff Chomper, and we see how Perceptor, Toadline, and that are still keeping their grounds, and we see how Red is flying a sort of Jetfire jet to give them an Energon boost. And we see how Alexis and Carlos are back at the command center. And we see how they point out about a special device that they're making. And of course, we see how back at the Black Sea, we see how Kicker confronts Slug Singer Mirage. And of course, Kicker giving the Omicons an Energon boost, which gives them a power up. And we see Mirage saying, oh, um, this is not not good. And of course, they may try to blast at them, and we see them flying away, saying, What about Sharktacon? Ah, uh, he's on his own. I'm back out, I'm, I'm back to looking out for number one. And of course, we see how the Omicron sank Kicker for his help, and we see how Megatron is still tearing down Terracons, which is the sort of dinosaur ones, Grawlocks, and of course, ends up with one of the sort of drone-like bodies getting blown up, and we see other ones exactly getting blown up as well. And we kind of see how Downshift and even Bra and Pro manage to get out just in time, and some of the Terracons flying away and heading back. And of course, they see that there's two Megatrons now in Moscow taking down ra Battle Ravages. And of course, they try to get away. So we kind of see how the sort of insect-like Terracons try to take them on, which is the Insecticon ones. But we see how Red shows up to give them an Energon boost, which able for them to destroy the Insecticon Terracons. And of course, we kind of see how after decimating what they have, we see how Megatron has decimated what the insect Set the cons there were, and we kind of see how Jetfire says, You done? Hmm, yes. It is a good start, but done? No, not by a long shot. I'm just getting warmed up, and as far as the opening ad goes, I have one feature port of cool mode point to drive home. And we kind of see how he says that Prime gives his regards from the belly of the beast. And Jetfire wanted to know, how, know where is Optimus. And of course we see how in Canada, Dropshot, Heavy Load and Ironhide are setting up the sort of device that's going to help them with their Energon thing. And we see Scorponaut showing up to cause trouble. And of course, decimating Overload and Dropshot. But then we kind of see how Megatron shows up, saying, You and I have unfinished business. And of course, which is going to lead up to issue 12, which is obviously the final issue and the final storyline 
because of Dreamwave's cancellation. I think, in my opinion, issue 11 is sort of okay, but again, it kind of leaves room to building up the next story, and after that, not knowing what happened afterwards. And I can understand that, yeah, Simon Furman shared what was going to happen, and leaving the story unfinished, along with his ideas for a Dreamwave version of Cybertron. And yeah, there was also going to be a Beast Wall story, which would later be made into Beast Wall's Wolves is sort of in between season 2 and 3 storyline. So I think this issue kind of deserves a thumbs in the middle. It's alright as a story and feels like something to still promote the toy line. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.